your boy Sneaky Fox here, back with another video, and today is March 5th, which means we have 10 days until the release of MLB The Show 24. And one thing that I try to do every year is kind of like search to see what other content creators have, uh, basically for tips and tricks on what to do like day one or like just starting out uh, Diamond Dynasty for the uh, new MLB The Show games. And this year I haven't come across many, if any. So I decided that I wanted to uh, basically make one of my uh, videos just a tips and tricks on what I believe you should do for day one of MLB The Show 24 on Diamond Dynasty. So with that, uh, let's get into the video. All right, so as you can see here, we have the pre-order bonuses. I went with the Digital Deluxe Edition. So uh, being Central Standard Time, I'm going to be able to access the game at 11 p.m. on March 14th, so I always like to make the joke that uh, I'm getting an extra hour, but uh, in reality, that's not the case. But for my bonus here, I will get one of the Barrier Breakers choice packs, a Legend choice pack, uh, then five gold choice packs, as well as 20 show packs, an equipment pack, daily double or double daily rewards for the entire year, a cover athlete bat skin, and then 20,000 stubs. So those stubs uh, will be a huge part of what, at least what I'm going to do night one, but we'll cover that later in the video. All right, once you get the tutorial done, you'll be able to go over to the packs here. You might have to click on the stub, just act like you're buying stubs, but then basically you go into opening your packs and then you'll get your five choice packs, your uh, 20 standards, the diamonds, uh, but basically, my thought process is open the gold first, pick the highest overall, unless it's one of the more well-known players that potentially might be selling for more. Uh, if you're a little slower completing the tutorial, that might actually give you an edge, just because you know market's actually going to be somewhat set up then. But then, once you pick those, open up all your standard packs, and then from there, sell everything. You know, apart from the 90 plus overalls everything is going to be super inflated on release night so get the most bang for your buck and just try and sell everything all right so as you can see here this is the start of mlb the show 23 you know so all my players i'm going up and listing here so like this common quick sell five stubs listed for 248 stubs you know you never know what's gonna sell especially early games could be a lot of people that may try and like put stubs into the game just to try and you know get the collections done get the pay to win personally i'm no money spent but i mean even here like 498 stubs for a bronze brian bellum might sell might not brian mata you know got a little unlucky with that but i mean we're gonna put it at uh, 995 subs just in case you never know what's gonna sell and so like this anthony rizzo here Put them up for uh like i think it was like 1997 or something like that i was here i was just checking the um the quick sell values just to see if they were adjusted okay so 1887 put that on put that one there uh frankie montas you know orders in for 4,000 stubs you know might go through might not again you never know so like we just got 1700 stubs for that anthony rizzo so here, listen, common for 1,000 subs, and boom, Frankie Montas sells for nearly 4K profit for us. So everything adds up, and it's just a matter of just listing everything, trying to get as many subs as possible, and then uh, basically just put them up and forget about them until like for a couple hours maybe, and you know just play the game, and uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Right, one thing I wanted to highlight here uh, real quick before moving on is the amount of uh, completed orders I did day one, or I guess night one if you want to be uh, technical with it. But uh, yeah, we had, let's see, before I even started like buying any cards really, uh, uh, let's see, where, where's my first, okay, so my first round of flipping was at Nate Uvalde, so I mean, you know, it's nearly six pages of completed orders. So, like, I sold my Machado for nearly 34k. Yeah, I sold uh, bronze for uh, 600 stubs. Let's see, there's 
you know, I think that was, I think he was a bronze. He was either a common or a bronze for 666 stubs. Another one for nearly 500 stubs. A couple of players for a thousand. So I mean, these are definitely higher than you know what their overall or what their um, their stub value is going to be on the market uh, later down the line. So earlier in the video, I mentioned that the pre-order stubs were going to be very beneficial to me. And that is because I do this thing called uh, flipping the market. Now, if you are unaware of what that is, I will uh, teach you here real quick. So the sell free look card, for example, we create a buy order here and we're going to check out his quick sell, which is 150 steps. So notice how we're going to go with the buy order, creating a buy order. You do not want to select the buy now option. So you create that buy order, put them in for 150 stubs, finalize the order. It now goes under the sell uh, tab here. So let's just say, you know, we wait a little bit, that order goes through. Now we have a sell free look that we want to sell. So go under sell, create sell order, and then you will list it for one less stub here. So in sell free looks case, it's 1,393 stubs and it moves over into the buy tab there and basically you're just going to do this uh, mass production uh, so game's a little more dead so there's not going to be you know many orders here but this is going to be uh, one filter that I use which we go to the filters it's just 79 overall live series cards uh, another one that I am going to be using night one is going to be the gold equipment here typically they'll have uh, relatively good margins. Like for example, if we have this chest plate here, we wanted to flip that one. You know, obviously the, price, the margins aren't gonna be this large, but gold equipment relatively, uh, or moves relatively quickly. So that along with the silver uh, live series cards, those just doing them in bulk orders will uh, benefit us and get us as many subs as we can. All right, so you've opened your packs. You've been flipping on the market for a little bit. You're just waiting for those orders to go through. Now what do you want to do? So first things first, you have to understand the uh, XP reward path. So basically, you get XP just for playing the game. It, it says it right here. You know, play any mode in MLB The Show. Each game earns the XP, which will progress you through the program there. So I mean, that can be any game mode whatsoever. You could do mini seasons if you wanted, conquest, showdown if you wanted to play versus CPU. You could do that, although I wouldn't necessarily advise it unless you're trying to work towards something in Team Affinity, which we will go over more later. Uh, a couple of modes that I would stay away from, at least night one, are the ranked and then the events here. BR, if you're a good enough player, you can hop into BR. Uh, first BR draft will be uh, free. After that, it'll be uh, 1,500 stubs. But I mean, so if you wanted to forfeit the entry, then you know you'll get that guaranteed pack there. But honestly, not worth it to me night one. But then again, I'm not the greatest of players there. But I think my uh, game plan going forward here is uh, to try and e attack the team affinity here. So basically, Team Affinity, we'll just pull up, you know, Season 1 here. So here, we needed 150,000 Team Affinity points here, and you were able to get this from many different uh, ways here. And one thing that's going to be different this year for MLB The Show 24 compared to MLB The Show 23 is each season will have uh, three chapters of the Team Affinity here. So, you know... Let's just say this was three whole chapters here. So first one ended at 50,000 Team Affinity points. Uh, there can be shorter grinds. You can be able to complete them faster. You know, you're going to get one chapter every four weeks. So, you know, week one or first uh, four weeks, you know, you get 50,000 Team Affinity points. Second, uh, second set of four weeks, you know, you get to 100,000. But basically, my plan of attack and this was for every uh, every uh, team affinity that I tackled here. I first did the moments here, and I don't know how many because uh, the path hasn't been revealed. But you know, team the uh, team affinity, the NL East moments, or I'll just do the uh, AL East moments here. 
So we'll go down to 5,000 points. The moments, each one toward the end of the game were 1,500. So, you know, complete all, the, all five of those, you get this first pack here. And then from there, I went and completed the different uh, showdowns. So, like, for first Team Affinity, there was the West, Central, East. And just complete all of those, you'll get points there. And then once you open up those packs and get those players, then I would move on to the conquest here and you know use the players that you got out of those packs for the certain missions, uh, just trying to get those completed as fast as possible in order to uh, you know get as much progress toward the uh, team affinity as much as possible. All right, one last thing I want to go over on this video is the live series collection here. Now, what is the live series collection? So you have all 30 MLB teams here. So for example, to the AL East here, you know, you got the uh, Orioles, Red Sox, Yankees, Rays, and Blue Jays. You collect all the 40 players on each team. You get the AL East pack. You collect all these, you get, for example, this 94 Mickey Mantle. It's gonna be different every year with what players get, or the collection rewards and stuff like that. But then, you know, you complete all of the AL, you get, you collect all these three cards, and then you get the AL collection reward, and then same for the NL. Uh, my advice, do not do this within the first week. Maybe the first week, definitely not within early access. Wait until the full launch of the game, because then you're going to have more players come in the... Uh, golds and lower are going to be a little cheaper maybe maybe not the golds to start with but you know as more players come in more packs are going to get opened markets come slowly uh the inflation is going to slowly decrease so you know the cards are going to be more around the quick sell value which is where you want to uh, pick them up at but uh yeah definitely don't do it uh, before early access starts uh, my personal strategy here, uh, probably going to go with the Dodgers first. Last year, I went with the Angels and then uh, completed the AL West here. Uh, that was mainly because you know, Shohei, Trout, two of the most expensive cards in the game. And you know, now that Shohei is on the Dodgers, you know, it's a little uh, split up here. So, I mean, obviously, you're still going to have Trout. You're gonna have Degrom in the AL West, but uh, I just think there's gonna be more 90 plus overall diamonds on the uh, on the NL side, and I definitely want to try and get more 90 plus overall diamonds, uh, like knock them out earlier, as opposed to waiting and uh, trying to do them last. Because you know, if we can get all of one division done or all of one league, sorry, uh, then, you know, we're going to be able to get one of the league co league collections, excuse me, but, you know, if we just kind of, like, pick and choose the, uh, like, the cheaper teams, and this is one thing I've seen a lot of people do, and this is one thing that I did when first starting out, I just went for the cheaper team, so I, I went for, you know, in the AL, you went for the Tigers, you went for the Rays, possibly... You know the white Sox, and then you know moving down you went for the marlins or the reds or stuff like that you're kind of like picking and choosing and you know you kind of just shoot yourself in the foot because you know it's better to get all of one division done at a time because then you unlock you know fernando valenzuela for example as opposed to just you know padres you get a jake peavy and then you go over to the cubs you get the carry wood so Definitely try and work on one division and one league at a time. Um, like I said, my strategy is probably going to go the Dodgers first, just to try and get Otani done. Uh, Mookie's going to be a high diamond, uh, and then the Padres uh, just stay along the AL or the NL West, excuse me. But like the Padres, you're going to have Tatis. There's no way he's not a 90 plus. And then uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they start Corbin Carroll like an 87, 88. I feel like, you know, speedy bat, good contact, decent power. It could be one of those that people try and get to a lot. 
uh, so his price is going to be up higher quite a bit and then probably going to go NL West to NL East and then to the NL Central again just getting all of one league completed and then from there move on to the AL West the AL East and then the AL Central and this is mainly just to try and get everything done as soon as possible and kind of like group everything together I want to get these done before the 90 plus overalls get too expensive uh, that being said last year game came out on March 24th I believe so we got the collections done April 11th so it only took me 18 days which I was flipping quite a bit and selling all the rewards I got from like events and stuff like that so that definitely bolstered me up but I do feel with not every card being you know 99 overall that the life series might be a little harder to attain this year so if there's any boost I can get, whether it be a flipping, whether it's pulling a high diamond, anything like that, I'm definitely going to uh, try and gain any uh, advantage I can. But this is going to be in the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, if it'll help you out night one. If you have any other tips, please drop them in the comments. But uh, that is going to be for me. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Anything that would help the channel is appreciated. And I will see you guys later.